Hello, hello. Welcome back to this uh, fourth part? Fifth part? I have no idea. Uh, we are on KMP editing right now. Uh, last time we created the course model.brs and the KCL. And I guess let's jump right in. So in our uh, folder, our custom tracks and then whatever you call it, we have our course model and our KCL and our textures folder. Now we want to get a KMP KMP file from a default Mario we track. So if you have extracted your Dolphin uh, or Mario Kart Wii ISO um, using the command wit extract, then you can get any any uh, course that you want. I'm going to uh, pick uh, Mario Circuit just because it's easier to set up. Um, which is old Mario SFC, old Mario SFC. Okay, this is I. Uh, what's it called? Um, MC three Mario Circuit three. Um, and how do I know this? You can look up I. Uh, list of Mario Kart we file names, and you'll get um this one on the Mario Kart Boards channel, and then you can see, um, mm, where is it? Mario Circuit 3 is old Mario SFC, for example. So, um, <coughs> excuse me, um, let's see, so we just copied that, and now we go to our, our folder, and we can paste it here, except we didn't actually copy it, and uh, I look like a fool, and we go here and we copy it and then we paste it. Nice. So, uh, well, I, <laughs> that's Ghost Valley 2. Actually, that's going to be really painful uh, for reasons that I won't get into, but you might learn as you pick it up. Old Mario SFC. There we go. So now we want to get the KMP file out of this object. So we're going to right click in here, open in terminal. Or you can also open the command prompt uh, by uh, command, uh, and typing something like that, uh, get the terminal, and then go to this directory, like change directory, or however you do power shell stuff. I have no idea. So if I do WSCST, you can see, yes, this is Wim's SCS tools using version whatever point whatever. Um, if you don't have this, you need to go um, and install WIMS SCS tools. Did I misspell WIMS? I did misspell WIMS. Um, and download this, and then you need to restart your computer once you've downloaded it. Uh, okay, cool. Um, so we go into our WIMS tools, and then we can do WSCST X all or extract. Either one works. Uh, X all just. <laughs> extracts more and I like it because uh, you, you just have more stuff to work with um, like you can extract all the textures automatically um, whereas extract you only get the BRES file and then you have to work with Free Studio or Brawl Crate or model editors to extract the textures this just recursively runs through it and then you can uh, you can just specify right now uh, let me you can just specify I, uh, old Mario, old Mario, or, you know, you could do that. Or the easy thing to do is just drag and drop. And that way you don't even have to be in the same directory. Um, and then if you want to, you can do uh, dash O for overwrite, but there's no file automatically there. So uh, we just extract it. Cool. So we extracted this thing, and now we have a bunch of stuff. So all these stuff, like here, you uh, minus this one. These .d files. This is what uh, the X all uh, thing does. Uh, where you wouldn't see that with the just extract command. But I uh, so for example, if you want to go course model and textures, these are all the PNG files, and so that can be that can be nice. But what we want to find, this is the KMP object. Boom. So we're gonna copy. We're gonna paste it out here and uh, goodbye nice uh, we just you know extracted our uh, 
uh, extracted this file. Goodbye. I, you know, a default Nintendo track. Uh, we got our KMP file, and we just, you know, deleted it because we don't need it. Um, and then, um, and then we can open up this KMP file using Lorenzi's. So, Lorenzi's. I uh, came to the editor. and uh, this one, and then uh, we're also going to need KMP Cloud, and both of those are really easy to set up. It's I think well, Lorenzi's is just an EXE, and I'm not sure about KMP Cloud. Probably also just an EXE to be honest, um, but we can just double click on our KMP file, and you can see. Uh, the reason why we're seeing our model is because we have the KCL uh, named course in the same directory as our KMP file. So now when we load it up in uh, Lorenzi's, you can see this is our actual geometry here. Uh, this is gray because this is wall. This is white because this is road. Um, a different, like if it's boost, it might be a pale yellow, for instance. Um, so that's one way of notating, like knowing uh, what, you know, if you've done your uh, collision correctly um, without actually testing it in game, but it looks like we're fine right now. I didn't do a start point because I'm stupid, I think. Wait, let me, did I do a start point? I did not do a start point. Um, so we can just set it wherever. I, in, uh, you can, let's see, where do we want to start a track? I uh, I think I wanted it like right here or something and then you can drop down on start points and then edit the rotation you can edit the rotation on KMP cloud I uh, just by type just by actually moving around but uh, not Lorenzi's which is kind of sad uh, you know that in blender Y or Z was up in I uh, Mario Kart we Y is up which is which is sad um, so we'll, I'm just going to guess 50, 100, 120. Yeah, so you also have to make sure that if someone starts in the middle or on the sides here, that there's enough space on either side. Um, and that looks, that looks doable. Um, enemy paths, these are the default paths for, um, Mario Circuit 3. Uh, and we can uh, select all and just delete them and then we can alt click to add a point and then alt click and just keep uh well i'm continuously pressing alt um and yeah just just doing this stuff and if you did want to do split uh split paths actually this is a good example i'm gonna do one path the first And then, you know, it, it okay, it doesn't know where to go. So right now it's going to map. Actually, it mapped pretty correctly. Um, it's the same movement scheme in Blender as it is in uh, Lorenzi's of shift middle mouse to move around, pan around. Um, but like this point, it, it detected it automatically, which is, which is pretty nice. Sometimes uh, if it didn't go where you wanted it to go, you can always click on this point and then edit its XYZ uh, location. Here we can also um, alt click here and then back in there, and that's you just did split paths. Congratulations! Item paths. We could do the exact same thing again, so we could take everything here, select it, and delete it, and then start. I uh, start. You know, alt click to place, and then continuously pressing alt, and then uh, keep alt clicking around. Uh, sometimes you can get it where, like, well, I alt clicked, but it's, you know, I alt clicked, but then they're actually like, and then I alt click again, and they're they're two separate paths. That's going to lead you to problems. So you can control Z in Lorenzi's um, if you notice that you've done that, and that can sometimes save you. Uh, I'm not going to go any farther. We're actually going to just copy the enemy routes and put it as your item routes. Obviously, if you want like a real polished track. Um, you'd make these different um but uh you know like enemy routes are never going to compete with you anyways 
uh, in Mario Kart Wii, they're just, once you get to a certain level, they're just not fast enough. And then item routes, I mean, they, they really matter for online, but if you're not, you know, going to have your track in CTGP, you just want to play casually. It doesn't matter if the item routes aren't exactly perfect. Um, so, uh, yeah, I'm not going to go with checkpoints. We're also going to do in KMP Cloud, just because it's easier that way. Um, respawn points, uh, there's a program that's going to do it automatically for us, which is nice. Objects, this is where the cool stuff happens, so we're just going to select all and delete. So, um, in our case, we want mushrooms here. So we're going to... We're gonna create, actually let's create a lot of mushroom objects. Um, or not that many, but just, just a few. And then let's put some in the background as well. So right now we are uh, alt clicking. Uh, sorry, I should have mentioned that. Alt click to create the object and then alt and drag object. So if I could select this one and then alt and drag, I duplicated the object. Um, but the real magic, okay, I've defined that there's going to be, okay, yeah, obviously the, <laughs> that's not correct. Wow, that's really not correct. Dang. Okay. Um, okay, the, the simple solution is just to place them on the track itself. And then a, it automatically snaps to the track, which is really nice. Um, so, you know, here it's on top of the, on top of the bush. That's really nice. Uh, KMP Cloud does not have nice 3D functionality. And this is also a good viewer to know, oh, are, are they right in this you know, correct spatial dimension? Um, but uh, we can also just you know, manually edit the X values of say, I want this to be, what if, what happens if I throw in a, what if I throw in a 20? What if I throw in a, 200. Oh, that's too far. But maybe, uh, you know, like 100,000. And I get a mushroom out there. Um, so, yeah, usually I don't uh, mesh, mess. Usually you have more of the track modeled when you're actually placing objects, so it's a lot easier. Um, I think in my case, I'm just going to delete these and not worry about them for now. Uh, but what I will add are item boxes. So I'm gonna maybe have a row of item boxes here. So the ID that I want to specify that this object is an item box, this ID thing here, if you go uh, into the custom Mario Kart page and do KMP object, uh, or you can just search online, KMP object query, which I probably spelled wrong. I did not, wow. So now you're like item box and enter and you get your ID is 101. Nice. Um, and then it shows you a bunch of settings, which usually the defaults are good, um, but you can like disable the shadow. Uh, one thing to note is in Lorenzi's setting one is actually setting zero. So if I go over here, um, setting zero, that's actually setting one. So if we want to disable shadow, we'd set that to one. Um, but I changed my ID to 101. And now I can uh, delete, delete. Um, I can just alt click and drag. And now these are all item boxes 101, uh, ID 101, and they have this disable uh, shadow because it's set. Um, I'm gonna. Yeah, put another set here, just alt click and dragging so I don't have to re you know redo these settings again. And uh, I'm gonna put some on the split paths here. And uh, typically about item boxes, you want them well balanced. So you want them, you know, generally about 10 seconds apart. This is, you know, pretty, th this course is pretty small, um, which I didn't quite realize how how simple I made it. Um, and I, yeah, but you want them about 10 seconds apart. And then, you know, if you, if there's a big shortcut, you maybe want item boxes around the shortcut. So people, you know, that aren't taking this, you know, shroom cut have other ways to catch up. 
Um, for example, um, so those are item boxes, uh, pretty self-explanatory. I uh, I'm gonna, yeah. Now let's let's add some mushrooms. Uh, so these mushrooms, I mushroom. It's gonna be some form of kanoko. Um, actually, I've not used this before. That looks right. That looks right. Solid road. That that looks pretty right. I. Um, and then um, what we're gonna do is like we don't know what are what are these settings, I uh, you know or w what settings should I use? Like okay, w w you know the default settings are zero, but that's you know probably not right for time in one divided by sixty seconds for a full cycle. So how do we know what settings we want? Um, well, first we're gonna note that this is ID five hundred two, and then we're actually gonna uh, put it here. This is ID 502. This is ID 502. And maybe we want to scale these up. So maybe we want, um, you know, this to be a scale of two. I have no idea for context. Um, I've never actually used this mushroom object before. So this is, this is a first time for me. So now how do we know what settings do we want? Well, we're going to go to Mushroom Gorge and we're going to extract out that KMP file and we're going to look at those settings. So we're going to go to our uh, Dolphin Extract. Then we're going to go to Kanoko Course um, because this is Mushroom Gorge, as you can follow through here. Uh, Mushroom Gorge is Kanoko Course. Um, but we're going to extract it out. We're first going to paste it. Right click, open internal, uh, WCST. Uh, here's a here's a cool thing I can type in here and WCST XL star dot SES, which recursively uh, extracts all the SES files in here. So there's a, there's a cool shortcut. But we're gonna go to this KMP, and then you can see this is yeah this KMP file. Oh no, it's not. Never mind. I am completely wrong. Uh, this is a, this is a course I I was making um, because <laughs> uh, yeah because the when I ex extracted at this uh, course uh, this is not actually the default Mario Kart Wii games uh, or files. This is um, you know I replaced the extracted files and what have you. So uh, that's actually useless. That's funny. Um, I did not expect that, uh, but. Um, I have, you know, Mario Kart Wii courses here, and then I've already extracted them. So I have this uh, course KMP here. Actually, let's call this uh, Kanoko KMP. So when we paste it in here, we know that this came from Mushroom Gorge. Um, sorry, what did I do there? I went to my custom tracks folder, and I had already extracted out all the courses in here and already ran extract so next time I want to come through them I don't have to keep extracting I just have these extracted files here um, so I uh, that's convenient so we're gonna go into this KMP which is the actual default mushroom um am I what what why am I dumb Oh, oh, I see. It's, it's taking the KCL from from our default track. But if you look at the actual objects themselves, yeah, this is mushroom gorge. Uh, these are the these are the bouncy mushrooms. So what are the what are the settings that it uses? It uses uh, is that a green mushroom? What what am I looking at here? Um, really, really. I'm, I'm looking. Sorry, the object that I'm looking for is Kanoko NM, maybe. What? Sorry, I'm I'm just confused figuring this out for my first time. <coughs> um, which is not excuse, but uh, it is also the truth. Uh, so it looks like <coughs> the uh, um. NM are the green ones, and then we want bend, right? 
Or we might also want UD. Let's let's look. Um, so this is bend. Yes, yeah, so this is bend. And then if we go here, we can see it's 502. Um, and then the settings for that were were really just one. Okay. Um, interesting. Interesting. I never knew that. Um, so we can do 502, and then we just set setting to 1. Okay, and then we're going to do the same here. And we also want, most importantly out of this, is that I, when, you're, when you go up here, and then you want to do a harsh left, like there has to be some banking here, right? Uh, that is, like it shouldn't just be, and now you go left on mushrooms because that's really hard to navigate. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually apply some rotation, which this is also uh, something I've not done, but we're going to rotate uh, this in the maybe Z axis. Um, let's see if I make this 20. No, you can see by this arrow pointing up, which way is which way is up or the objects rotated. So if we rotate this by 20, yeah, that looks negative 20. Um, Negative 20. That's looking right. Uh, and maybe we want maybe even negative 30. And and then I can also probably rotate it um, maybe 10 degrees here. Mm, no. What if I? Sorry, this is this is on the fly. Um, okay, that's really not doing anything. But it looks just better. Actually, maybe no, it, it does stuff, right? Um, so, anyways, we we added our um, X to delete objects. Um, so we added our objects with IDs. We changed our settings and we extracted stuff. Um, you can also uh, create a route. So right now our routes are default. Um, their default one from the thing that I extracted, which uh, is. A custom track, I uh, with three routes and all all the camera stuff are are by default. Um, if you do mess around with uh, routes, like you have, okay, I want to add a new, um, I want to add a <coughs> Goomba, right? And this uh, Goomba. So let's let's actually do that um, because that's that's good to have. So we're gonna go up here and we're gonna say Goomba. And so this is a Karibo in-game, and this has ID 401. So uh, we're going to go in here, and we're going to create our ID as 401, unsurprisingly. And uh, you can see this are the, these are the needed files, which I have been ignoring as of uh, so far. Uh, and... Yeah, so let's actually explain what those are. Um, so if I go, if I go to, for example, I my extracted Kanoko course, I can see in my brsad file I have a Karibo folder, and then I have the brsad files. Oh, wrong one. Haha. Uh -huh. um, then I have these ones. These. Are, these are the BRSAD files that it needs uh, for it to actually load. And then it also needs a BRAS file. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to take this BRSAD file, and then we're also going to take this uh, Karibo, and I, then we're going to bring it to our course. So we're going to copy it, and then we're going to uh, paste it in here. I, cool. So now this uh, now we won't crash the game. Uh, likewise, uh, this um, uh, these mushrooms, uh, Kanoko Bend. If I go and look at uh, Kanoko Bend, you can see I need all of these files. Otherwise, it will crash. So I'll just go in uh, my uh, course or custom tracks, my Carby course, and then I'll go to. Kanoko course, and I'll go and I need the Kanoko BRS, and honestly, I'm not sure. I just these, I presume. Let's see, what do I need? 
I need all the KCL files, that's the collision, and yeah, I have the BRS. So then I'd go and just paste them in the same directory. And now I have uh, the object, like the actual like texture references and whatever. And that, so you, you can also create the custom one. So you could call this like Karibo if you wanted to. Oh, haha. Um, you could like call this Kanoko or Karibo. Sorry, I mixed those two up. But I call it, I could call this Karibo uh, .brs. It won't work because uh, I'd also need to rename one other thing. Um, if you open up this with Brawlcrate, you can see that uh, it's called Kanoko and it has a specific structure to that, which it's loading, you know, different different stuff. Um, and whereas if you open this up, you just have the course. It's called course right now. Um, but the general principle is the, is the same, where you can just replace this with this. Um, likewise, the skybox. Uh, actually, let me do that right now. Um, we're going to go to a custom track. And this... Um, the feeling of this track is pretty uh, moody, so uh, let's go and uh, let's go to maybe um, what what course do we want? We want a moody course. Let's yeah, let's just go for I uh, what's it called? Whatever this Ghost Valley Two, and we can even get the post effect folder, and then we can also get the. Uh, skybox that's the VR corn model so we can copy those over and we can put them in here so now our post effects this is uh, what's going to make our environment look uh, warm or look dark or uh, things of that nature and it has all these different files which most of them you can't uh, most of them you can't edit there's there's a post effect editor but it's not much far removed from manually hex editing. Um, there's also Wexo, Wexo's toolbox, which can be used for KCL calculation, and uh, it might be able to read some of these um, and write to them, but I'm, I'm not sure how much it's supported. Um, but anyways, we'll just use the default Nintendo ones, and then we also just grabbed around this, grabbed this uh, Skybox, which you can drag and drop into Noclip. If I uh, open no clip dot website, and then I can uh, go to my BRS file and just drag and drop. You can see this is this is what it looks the the skybox looks like. Um, yeah, so I uh, we've I think we've completed our track. Let's delete this uh, KMP file um, from Mushroom Gorge as we're no longer using it don't save. Um, actually, we're not done because there's still more KMP editing stuff that I need to do. Uh, and for this, we're going to open with uh, KMP Cloud. So uh, KMP Cloud, we, right now we created our, uh, you can view and then you can go view, background, import OBJ, browse, uh, and then we want to go to our tutorial and Really? Where's the OBJ file? Uh, oh, it might be in, te yeah, it's in the textures folder. Um, and then I can change the, or the color is already changed here, and I'm gonna enable transparency, and I can import. So you can see, here are the, um, huh. Ha ha ha, really? Really, 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 really. I'm confused. Did I? Oh, oh, that's why. Because I didn't save it. So, um, yeah, I need to save it. That would be why. So now, when I open it with, uh, yeah. So, so both Lorenzi's and KMP Cloud have the issue of if you close it might not it might not prompt you to if you want to save um and you can be editing the same kmp file with both kmp cloud and lorenzi's at the same time and not notice um so that's that's definitely something to watch out for 
But now, if we view background import obj, I browse find our obj and enable transparency. Now you can see our start position lines up and our enemy positions look correct. Um, and right now, um, you can see uh, you can see we have group zero going here, group one going around here, group two uh, going to the end, and then group three, because we did this last, goes around here. So you can see that in here of uh, maybe the enemy routes in general. So it starts um, at, well, so it says the last one that it should reference is group two. So that's what it's saying here, it's saying group two uh, this is uh, hexadecimal, so uh, what? 10 is 0a, 11 is 0b, and this 12 is 0c. Um, and then it says the next one that you should go to is group 1. And then a, a yeah, or group 3, or group 3. Um, so this one, group 1, says that the last one was 0, 0 and then it should go to zero 02. So zero 03, group zero 03, will say the last one was zero 00, and then it should go to zero 02. So if you look at in here, uh, group t uh, three is saying the last one was zero 00, was this curve here, and then it should go to um, zero 02, which is this one here, which makes sense for group three, which connects this with this. Um, so now we have these enemy routes, and we can uh, just copy uh, copy group, and we can go in here, and we can uh, just delete, uh, delete, yes, and delete, yes, and then we can paste and add. And it likes to throw errors, so you can copy group, you can go in here, right click, paste, add. And we're just going to paste, add. Sometimes this is easier to just make the new thing. Sometimes it's easier to copy them uh, over. Depends on how complicated your model is, um, or how complicated your KMP is, um, and stuff like that. So now uh, you can see these are all the different objects. And uh, actually, we need to give this Karibo a root. Um, right now, it you know, is not associated with a root, which will cause a crash um, because uh, this Goomba object requires a root. Um, so we'll we'll get back to that. And the uh, other thing that's easier, you know, we, we copied these enemy routes and pasted them into item routes, which is nice in KMP Cloud. The other thing that uh, KMP Cloud is good at is checkpoints. So we're gonna delete the uh, basic checkpoints and then we're gonna uh, alt click all right, we're gonna need to uh, create a new add. We're gonna add a group, and then you can Alt and click, and that's how you uh, do checkpoints. And I'm not good at checkpoints, but basically, uh, or I haven't actually put in time to make good checkpoints, um, so I've never actually practiced making good checkpoints. But basically, you just um, you want to have it as perpendicular to the road as possible. Um, Otherwise, you get position tracking bugs and uh, potential no lap counts and what have you. Um, so, like, that's a horrible checkpoint right there. That's possible people are going to go in here and, you know, it's, it's just very not perpendicular to the road. Um, and so we're going to set the, uh, so we went from view and then we now we want to go on each individual one. So if I select this, you can see this is the first one. And we want this to be a key checkpoint. And we also want it to be our first checkpoint and the lap counting one. So we're going to set this to 0, 0, which indicates this is a key checkpoint, but also that it's a lap counting checkpoint. Then we're going to set you know, another one. We're going to go down some amount, and we're going to set this as 0, 1. Uh, 0, 1. So this is our second checkpoint. And it's around here. And then we'll maybe have our third one here. Um, these are horrible places for key checkpoints. Um, 
yeah, like that's that's the one I was most suspicious about. And you can see that's also a key checkpoint, which is dealing with lap counts. So we might have some suspicious stuff right there. Um, but basically, yeah, you'd have them spread out and you'd do your thing. So I uh, now before we're done with our um, before we're done, uh, like cameras stuff, I uh, you can read the wiki page on custom cameras. There's I uh, eventually like hopefully pretty soon going to be um, KMP uh, Blender add-ons for custom cameras. So I'm not going to cover it here, especially since I also don't really know what I've done doing. I've done it like once, maybe twice. Um, so I, I'm not the one to teach you through that. There's also a um, area uh, KMP um, add-on for Blender, which I uh, can be found in the CTGP uh, server. But uh, that's for stuff like if you go into an area, area, haha, you go into a space and then you want lava particles to appear or the post effect to change. Uh, that's what you, what you do through area, essentially. Um, but for basic purposes, we have checkpoints, we have objects, and those objects might follow a route, which we'll get to soon. And we have these item group routes and enemy routes, which you can copy and paste. Um, so you can see view edit rotations. This is how you can edit rotation. Um, so maybe we want, want something like that. Um, cool. So I'm going to save because if I close and I don't save, there's a high probability that it won't prompt me. So now we're going to go back into Lorenzi's and do our final thing. And then honestly, we should have a good to go test course. So our route, um, we need to create a new route. I uh, and then we're gonna alt click here and we're gonna maybe have it do a quadrilateral route um, sorry uh, quadrilateral route just along here and uh, we want straight edges if you do curved edges um, but don't have enough points then it could cause a crash I, I think that's only for like two or maybe three points with four we should be fine with I uh, curved edges, but I'm just going to do straight edges because it doesn't really matter. It's a Goomba. Um, and then uh, we want cyclic motion. You can also do back and forth. Um, and then we also need to link this to the object itself. So when we go to objects, we select this one. Uh, it doesn't matter where you place it. You can place it here. It's going to go to that route. Um, and so we want the route to be route four, three. And then we also want um, the speed to be some reasonable number. And uh, actually, I'm an idiot. So let me go uh, custom tracks, Mario Kart Wii course, and Kanoko course. This is why it's helpful to just have that KMP file on hand so you don't have to keep going back to it. Um, but I was stupid. Um, so if we go to Kanoko uh, objects, and then at the very end, here are, um, here are here are our 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 hour. Um, you can see our setting zero is 600 setting one is 40 setting two is 120 what do these mean if you go to the KMP object query which is which is where here yeah um, Curibo. you can see that this is the respawn time speed and animation speed Nice. So, um, yeah, if we go back into our our object here, which we can place anywhere, I'm just going to place it there so it's easy. Um, we're going to set our first setting to 600, and then our next one to 40, and then our next one to 120. Obviously, you can change around these settings, but who am I to question Nintendo? Um, and uh, we've tied it to this new route that we just created. Uh, sorry, how did I create that route? Uh, I just created a new route, and then I alt-clicked. Uh, and dragged, same as the, you would do with an object, essentially. Uh, I did control S and it didn't save, as indicated by the star, so I'm just going to manually file save. So now, um, we have hopefully a working course right now. Um, how, do we, how do we actually pack it into a course? So we have, we have the course model, we have the uh, skybox, we have in the, in the KMP file, each object has its own associated files with it. We have 
our you know associated file and we have our uh, KCL our collision uh, we have our textures which uh, is not needed um, we have our post effect and we have our BRSAD Brost <laughs> I don't I've never said that before um, which is uh, needed for our Karibo our Goomba object um, one thing we're missing right now is a minimap, so I'm just gonna go and grab one. It's yeah, yeah, I, I'm yeah. Um, so I can get it from any course. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna actually grab no. Uh, I'm gonna grab which one am I gonna grab? It it uh we'll we'll get to actual minimap stuff later, um, because that's not needed when you're just doing a test version, right? We're just doing a test version right now. So I'm going to do Waluigi Stadium because Waluigi Stadium is kind of cool. And the mini map that we want is our map model. And we're just going to copy that over and paste it in here. Nice. Now I'm going to create a new folder. I'm going to call it, uh, call it beginner course D. Uh, yeah, sure. Um, dot d so that way you know when we extract it all this is the this is the type of files that you this is the folder uh, thing that you got out so now it, you know how does it know what it should how it should recombine it is by you know the indicator is that dot d so i'm going to basically just take everything um except for this textures folder because this textures folder um is not uh yeah, we don't want that to pack in our course, otherwise it's gonna to, going to be too large. Um, courses can only be basically up to eight megs before they start crashing. And that eight, eight megs is a high approximation. Um, <laughs> okay, well I copied the map model in there, but let's, let's do more than that, shall we? Uh, copy and paste, yes. So now we have our uh, minimap, we have our skybox, we have our course model, we have our KCL, KMP, and latest stuff. So let's actually now create our course. Uh, I'm just going to delete these for sake of clarity uh, because they're already in here, but uh, it might be wise to keep some of these around, like your course model. Uh, you kind of don't want to do that again. Your KMP, you know, it, like just keep backups. Uh, I'm not going to because I'm a boss, but uh, you know, similar principles apply. Um, so now we can right click here, WSCST, uh, create. This is the, this is the, um, keyword that you want to use is create, um, XL to extract. You can also just use extract to extract, um, and then create, and then dash O overwrites anything that you already previously have, but I don't. So I'm going to call that good. So now we have beginner course. Um, this is Luigi circuit, uh, file name as you can find out in here. Uh, I'm gonna, you know, beginner course.ses. I am going to call it, I, uh, what am I going to call it? It does, it, it doesn't, it, it doesn't matter except for like three track, three slots where it actually crashes the game. Um, there are conflicts on a, a Moonview Highway on Shy Guy Beach. Um, and there are potential things I'm, I think I'm for the, the and Sherbert land. Those are the three main ones. There are two potential conflicts. If you're using the cone object, those can only work on Daisy circuit and desert Hills. But other than that, they're, they're a full game. There's also some, you, you can look it up on the wiki. If you search uh, slot, yes, I know it's not like, um, search up slot. It'll tell you what the properties of things that are, that are, um, yeah, but uh, basically Moonview Highway, uh, Sherbert Land, and Shy Guy Beach are all um, special that they'll cause crashes. But in our case, uh, we could just call it Beginner Course for Luigi Circuit. Um, since our thing is more more spooky land, uh, I'm going to call it, um, yes, I'm watching differential equations, um, Old Bobic SFC. So that is the file name for um, Ghost Valley 2. So now I'm going to put this in my extracted dolphin and just copy, you know, paste it over. And then I'm going to go into dolphin. And we're actually going to 
load up the track. We're gonna, you know, make sure that it works. Um, I'm as excited as you are. So I'm gonna open, and then I'm going to go to the same RMC extract. This is where you output your file. Then I'm gonna go into system, and then I have a main.dol, which is just basically a copy of your ISO, and just launch it from there. And you're gonna have to excuse my poor gameplay on Dolphin, as I, <laughs> I have not configured it other than press two, uh, or go, and uh, to move left and right. And uh, those are the two buttons that I have. Uh, how do I, how do I exit? Uh, how do I exit? Uh, if I start pressing enough random keys, it will, it will take me out, right? Um, oh, okay. Um, how do I go back? I, I know I did, um, I would like to go back, really. Um, actually, let me just, um, if you did want to know how to, uh, yes, you need Dolphin, uh, and you can get that by just downloading Dolphin. Um, <laughs> sorry, that was not informative at all, but uh, it's it's really simple to set up. Um, as you can see, I have a bunch of other different uh, things, but uh, you can go emulate we remote, or you can even use a real remote. Um, obviously, you can also test this on CTGP or another revolution pack. Um, but uh, when you can just have copy and paste it into your you know course folder and then launch up Dolphin just like that, you know you saw how quickly we were in testing tracks, um, keyboard mouse, and then if I wanted to go out, then I want to uh, maybe going out is Q. Nah, uh, sorry, I want Q, please, thank you. Um, and then I'm gonna set this to B or what have you. Nice. Um, so now I'm going to actually open our main.dol file again. And now I'm going to launch it properly. I have a few cheat codes, or gecko codes enabled, which makes uh, booting to that instant menu or to that time trial menu instant. I also have item boxes and time trials, um, which makes testing really nice and easy. Um, and now let's navigate um, to, where did we put it? We put it over old obake, which is Ghost Valley 2. And we're gonna slow time trials and see what it looks like. See if we actually scale it properly, see if our um, collision maps up, see what the post effects look like. Um, so you can see we have a very dark and gloomy uh, atmosphere and that's because of the post effects. We have our banana character, that's because of my custom model. Uh, you can see it's uh, right now the road is pretty blurry. That's achieved through ReStudio's custom MIP maps, um, which are by default are pretty blurry. Um, and uh, we got an uh, invalid right. Wow. Oh, okay. That's just, yeah, that's just my uh, cheat code. Uh, item boxes and, oh, I bet you the item boxes and time trials. I bet you that depends on the um, on the shadow, them just being default item boxes, and it didn't account for um, item boxes without that shadow. So we're going around. Uh, this seems to be scaled pretty well, and uh, we that's probably trickable, but uh, I can't trick right now. Uh, we do have this. We can interact with it. Uh, it will uh, spin us out if we're going fast enough. Uh, and then we have this bush, and if I, we have a bush KCL collision. Um, and then we have go left here, and uh, and the KCL didn't work. Interesting, 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 interesting. So I've never done the uh, rotated mushrooms before, uh, which I, let me, let me try to find a solution. Uh, <laughs> I bet you, uh, and yeah, we d I forgot to configure our respawns. So next time when we come back to this, I will actually have gameplay of a working track and I'll show you how I did it. And we'll, we'll start with that and then we'll go right into um, 
what do you call it, uh, actually modeling out more of the track. Now that we have a basic test version, we have checkpoints, we have, you know, collision, we have a base model, you know how to know, you know, make a custom track, really, you do. Um, and it's now just about uh, polishing and making a um, fully fledged track. So uh, if you're going to stick around, I'll see you next part. Otherwise, uh, <laughs> you get to see uh, Banana Man falling into the abyss forever. All right, uh, see you.